Welcome to the Crescent Hammer YouTube channel. I got this intake. It was uh, installed on my uh, 5.3 LS. That was broken off. That was broken when I got it. That was broken when I got it. It's just a, you know, stock truck intake. Fairly good intake, but there's a few things I was gonna do. Since this is broken and this is broken, I was gonna fix those, but I did see that you could shave these intakes and it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna cut all this off and make a bunch of holes in here then fix it and shave it and clean it all up then probably sell it. We'll see. First thing I want to do is this little uh, connector back here pulled out um, instead of running the new one in here I'm just gonna plug plug in it put well put an adapter for a plug in it because I think they seal better than those other ones so I'm gonna heat this up thread it in there let it cool and then put some uh, sealant on it thread it back in there call the day Next step in this whole process, I believe, should be just taking all this off. Probably not going to take this and this off because that's where the throttle cable goes or the throttle, yeah, the throttle cable mount goes to uh, if you're going to use a drive-by wire. So I'll keep those on there. I'm going to cut all these off, kind of smooth it all out, clean it up. going to keep this on there and this on there. I'll probably cut this this tall one off put this little lower rise um, connection fitting right here so if anybody wants to use that for a vacuum line <laughs> all to cut all the big pieces off now I'm gonna take my grinder and just clean it all up smooth it all out kind of gotten a little deep in a few spots but I'll just take some plastic and melt that in place but Got the intake all smoothed up for for now. It's not perfect, it's not close to perfect. But what I'm gonna do now is take it outside, run a hose down through it, try to get all this, you know, all this crap out of the intake. Really just clean it out. Now I'm cutting out holes for uh, or patch panels to fill the, the holes I already have. <laughs> Uh, 
to uh, add some rigidity to this plastic. Eh. Probably could have done that better. Now, we'll take some spare pieces of plastic and my very old crappy soldering iron. Just melt this all down and kind of smooth it out. Have that first hole finished. It's still hot, but I can feel the bottom of it. Ooh, it's hot on the bottom too. It's pretty smooth. Off to the next one. <laughs> For this one, I trimmed down that uh, vacuum line. I'm gonna put it right in there. Put it right there and there. And weld it in like that. Have all the holes patched. These three middle ones, I put the little uh, metal pieces in it, but I haven't put any of the metal pieces in these six on the outside yet, because I wanted to get them all attached. Now I'm gonna go through and just put three or four in each one to maintain strength. Got all the little uh, wires melted in there. I'm gonna go through and just snip all the heads off and hit it with another coat of uh, burnt uh, melted plastic. It's not burnt, it's melted. And I'll smooth it all out, call it a day. I got it all smoothed out again, decent. So really to strengthen this up, I'm gonna do a plastic epoxy, just a cover over the entire top to kind of smooth it out. Some people did uh, do fiberglass, but I don't have any fiberglass. I have this little epoxy stuff. You kind of want it rough and like it is right now for epoxy. So I'm just gonna mix it up on here, kind of smooth it out and wait for it to dry. product I don't really like the way it looks it looks better than it did but I'm not gonna shave the TBS TBSS intake I have for my LS I'm just gonna I shaved this one because there was that hole and now I'm gonna put this one up for sale you know a shaved intake is worth a little bit more than an intake with a hole in it
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.